I'm going to move on to the grill shutter that's down here and I'm hopeful I can just remove this and get a little more room down there and um, I don't have to take off this bumper but I'm going to assess the, uh, the wiring and uh, go from there. Alright, so I fished my arm down here and uh, got the plug loose. This harness end looks fine, but as I ran my hand up the wire and came up here, you've got the, um, the bumper support beam here and the wire harness is right next to it and I can feel a break in the uh, conduit that the wire is running through and so I assume that's where I'm getting the, um, the lost communication signal. Uh, the wires feel intact, but I'm guessing there's a, a rip in it and there's some corrosion and water and crap. Um, I spotted it with my camera here, my snake camera, and uh, yeah, I don't see any tears in the wiring. Um, but I did spot a YouTube video that showed a, uh, a break in that exact same spot. So I don't know if he hit, he, this customer had hit a deer at some point. Um, and so I don't know if that's when, you know, it broke the wiring conduit and then over time, which is, you know, driving in bumps, it kind of wore a hole through it. But so, unfortunately, I got to take off this bumper <laughs> to get access to that stupid wire harness. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's not very fun to take off. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on it, though, because I did find the break and, um, I assume that's, you know, what's going on. Although, I guess I should co check continuity on here and just make sure that we're getting getting power and stuff to these wires. All right, so I'm gonna do that now. The red wire, or the red and white wire, is the communication wire, and that's the wire that I believe sends the um, error code. So we're supposed to be ohms here. So this should be ground to ground. And let's see here. So the ground has got continuity. So we'll get that bumper off and um, see if I can get that wiring fixed up. Most people would cringe at wiring harnesses and stuff, but I don't know. I think they're 
they're okay. They are hard to track down and stuff as far as repairs go. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't cringe too badly at wiring, especially when there's a, a sensor or a check engine light associated with it. At least you're, you know, in the right direction. And I'm hopeful I don't have to take off the entire bumper. Hopefully, I can just kind of loosen up this driver's side. So that's where the harness is. Um, but yeah, once I get the get access to the other end of the harness, I can run continuity test um, between the two ends of the wire. So let's do this so we don't lose these. Nice if I can just kind of peel this side back and get access to the wiring harness, but we'll see. I'm guessing it's not gonna be that easy. A stupid amount of bolts and screws that hold this thing on. <laughs> There's these little tabs that you gotta release on the back side. Oh, and there's, of course, another big old bolt. give me enough access space to pull that out. Let's see 
if I can get this to lay down a little bit. below and loosen up those bolts. See if the red's got continuity between the two, red and red, black, black, and Should work. Red is here. I can touch it. And red is here. Let's see if we can do this one hand. Okay, I heard it. <laughs> The red's good. Now black, there's two black. So we'll just go with this red and white one next. Which is this one. Let's see if we get anything here. And we shouldn't, but I don't know, every now and then, sometimes you get a break in the wire, and if you move the wire around, nope, I'm not getting anything. Nope. So not getting any continuity between that red and white or orange and white wire. So. Okay, so that confirms that, and we'll go black to black, 
We'll check both black wires. All right. So it's that red and white wire. So we got a break. Um, so I got to fish this harness up and out of here. Um, and repair that brake. Okay. Let's see if we can see this. So there's the brake in the wire. It's tiny. You see that? So it was rubbing on this um, bumper rail and eventually you know broke this broke through this and then started rubbing and got you know water and corrosion and crap in there. So I'm gonna trim this back and um, trim that back and uh, splice in a new wire right there. Get that splice back and uh, see if we can get any continuity between the two wires. So we'll splice this back and check continuity from here to the end. Like I said, I might need to go up further on the line. Doesn't look too bad, actually, right there. All right. Let's see what we got here. From this end to this end. Got continuity. But it could be a little cleaner. Alright. So yeah, it's a little corroded there. Corroded and crappy. Okay, so trim that back a little bit more. That looks cleaner there. Do the same thing. 